what's up you guys so i am back with another video and i have to be honest with you all i have been hesitant to cover this story when we talk about monique and the aftermath of her interview with club shay shay i've been hesitant to talk about her and dl because it looks like her and dl keep putting his daughter's trauma on a platform and they're literally fighting about his daughter's trauma and it's hard for me to cover stuff like that because it just it just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem right for them to do that. And so last night, Monique and her husband, Daddy, <laughs> made a video and they talked briefly actually about DL. And they also talked about the Breakfast Club and Charlemagne apologizing to Monique. But they talked about DL in the video, which I'm going to play you. But I actually want to play DL's response to their video first because his video is much shorter. And what they had to say, you know, it's two people, so it's a little bit longer. You guys, by the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you got to go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. If you want to be a content creator, sign up for my boot camp. DL Hughley made a post in response to their video. And he said this in the caption. Let me make this very clear. I started none of this. But you got me effed all the way up if you think I'm going to stay silent and not call out a liar. I see what y'all did to Steve and all them when nobody tried to defend themselves. It's been two years since that woman lied on me and disrespected my family. Now, Monique says that she reposted what he said about his daughter. When the internet came for her after what she said about my daughter, she stopped all the BS and that was it. I've been minding my own business. Now, here we go again. Just because someone lies, manipulates, and gaslights you in a calm voice with terms of endearment doesn't make it true. You had an issue with me when it came to that contract, but before you ever spoke a word about me, you went on stage at a concert in front of a full audience and attacked my wife. Now, when he says Monique attacked his wife, Monique said it must be hard to S the D of a coward. But in any case, DL goes on to say, you had an issue with me, but you brought my daughter's trauma into it to try and hurt me. Now you're saying it wasn't like that. Then why did you publicly apologize? Gaslighting. Every time you speak my name, I'm coming back at you. You don't get to be the aggressor and the victim with me. You speak my name or my family's name again, and I'm going to be on your behind. Hashtag Team DL. And look who in the comments clapping. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. I did a video on what Monique said about Tiffany Haddish and what she said about Taraji. I did that video yesterday. So I'll put a link in the top right hand corner if you missed that video. But I want to share with you guys what DL said in his video. All right. I, I, I'm taking time to respond to Monique again. She made another greasy ass video with her daddy. Um, we kind of relitigating some of the stuff she said on Club Shay Shay, where she talked about how she was on the show and somebody, you know, they played a game. Would you rather? And I guess she felt like they insulted her husband's sexuality, which is interesting because she can always talk shit about everybody else's sexuality. But I guess her husband's sexuality, he's off limit. But a hit dog will bark unless his mouth is full. But she talked about, well, she didn't actually call her lawyer. Who the fuck would be afraid of your lawyer? Your lawyer, you mean the lawyer that did your contract? The law, That lawyer, the lawyer from the firm of Negro, 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 from Ghetto, Got Him and Gone, that lawyer? Who the fuck afraid of him? He couldn't get your name right on a ticket. He gonna get it right on a, on a legal document. It didn't happen because we decided it shouldn't happen. We didn't. You didn't need to because we respect people. We don't have to do things for for, for clicks. They took it off because you asked me to because I respected you at the time. You also talked about how I um, disrespect you on so many platforms, uh, but you have yet you have this impeccable memory where you can tell to the degree well who did what to you and why and what happened where you were but you can't pull up one time on any platform that i said anything about you at all because you know you're lying you got that piece of paper and that big ass memory but you can't pull one up my biggest mistake is saying yes to you i should have said no when you came on my you couldn't come on my radio show i should have said no that i wasn't playing those date with you as a matter of fact i almost anybody who says yes to you at some point is, is, is in this milieu with you, almost anybody. So I would suggest anybody out there, you can say yes to drugs, but say no to Monique. You talked about how um, you, my children, families are off limits. They weren't when you were running across Vegas 
I mean, on the stage in Detroit. They weren't when you talking shit on social media. When you got your ass whipped and your tickets dropped, then they became off limits. But let's do this. Let's decide that you will treat my children like you treat yours, like you don't know them, invisible, like you have no relationship with them, like you're estranged, you're, like you're unfamiliar, like you don't know them. You also intimated that I was coward. You know what I'd never do? I would never let my woman take care of me. I would never let my woman get evicted from her apartment. I would never let my woman has to ask another man for money. I'd never do that. Can your old man say the same? He loves you. Of course, he got to say that. You claim him on your taxes. He's a dependent. He's sitting there with you right now. Uh-huh and everything. Because it ain't like he does anything else. But you never address the salient point. I said that if you spent as much time writing your Netflix special as you did arguing about getting it, it wouldn't have been trash. It was. I didn't say it. I defy anybody out there. Stop listening to me. Watch it. Read the reviews. Read the reviews. You beg for something. You made valid points that women are underpaid, that they're not valued. That's absolutely right. So you would think that when you got a chance to do something that you would argue for, you'd be up for the challenge, but you shit the bed because you never are ready for it because all you ever do is complain about what you don't have. You're never ready for the moment because you're always living in the past. I said it. You, if you spend half of your time doing, as opposed to talking about who didn't do for you and what they did for you, you'd be a lot further along. You wouldn't be evicted. You wouldn't be working for your man. You wouldn't be asking other comics for money. So you got all the ingredients. Take that piece of paper that you're running down the list with and that pen that you got and that daddy sits next to you, that daddy sitting next to you and do what you can't do, do what you never do. Write a fucking joke. All right, so DL said Monique is not funny. She needs to spend her time writing jokes. He actually started off by insulting black lawyers. I don't know if y'all could hear, he was saying you have a lawyer from the firm of Negro, Negro, or Negro, as if something is wrong with black lawyers. But I want y'all to hear actually what he's responding to, what Monique had to say. Really be clear who I went after so that there's no confusion here. When I was on stage, when I'm on stage and we are performers, we are performing to the audience in front of us. When I was on that stage and I said, it must be hard to perform on sex. But differently. Okay, on a coward. That had nothing to do with Mrs. Hughley. That insult was directed straight to you, DL. That had nothing to do with your wife. That was straight to you. So it felt like you were trying to pass it off as if I was going after your wife. When it comes to your daughter, to the baby that you did a post about, you did an interview about, I didn't do that interview. I simply reposted what you said. So when you say, Monique, you went after my daughter, that's untrue, DL. I posted what you said. And then when you said on, on your when you were really going for it with your shades on, and you said, Monique said, I stood by and watched my daughter be raped. D.L. Hughley, that's your conscience talking to you, brother. I never said that. I never said that. And I want to be a little clear about something else. Never would I try to do anything to harm any of your babies, because we got babies too. So never would I try to do anything to harm your children. However, what I was saying to your daughter and to the other daughters out there, I know what it's like for your daddy to know you've been touched and he not protect you because my daddy did the same thing. That, that's what that whole point was. But I was showing why I would call you a coward, brother. I don't think it's brave that you didn't protect your baby. So when I said what I was saying, let me be clear to you, D.L. Hughley, it had nothing to do in reference to your family, and you know that. Now, when you were speaking and you were going off and you said, um, uh, what did he say? She was so offended by the game we play, but you didn't say what the offense was. And that's the part for me that is disheartening, that you continue to try to trick and smoke and mirror our people. If you're going to say it, say it all the way through. 
when you say family is sacred, you are absolutely right, baby. You're right. But when you say would my husband rather and you co-sign your team of people doing that, well, isn't my husband sacred? So you got to be careful in your words because the very words you use, DL, they're going to come back and they're coming back to bite you, baby. And what I also said on Club Shay Shay, when I looked in that camera, I said, DL, I love you, brother. And I don't know if you didn't hear that part, but we really do. We love you, brother. And if ever you get courageous enough, to want to have a conversation, we're always open to it because doing that, it shows how our community can get better. When you're wrong, as we have said to you, hey, brother, we apologize on that one. Yeah, incorrect on the cease and desist. And I want to add one more thing. When you spoke in reference to your daughter being a reason why Monique stopped speaking about it, what you don't even understand out of love for you out of love for you. See, you can have a problem with your brother, but you're not going to take it out on your kids. And we respected the fact that she tried to defend you, but we got three big ass sons that if we were to think about it in the same way that she thought about it, what would that be? But out of love for you, we're not going to go after your child trying to protect the father that she loves. But one could argue, based upon what you said about yourself, had you exhibited the same type of love and protection for your other daughter that your other daughter tried to exhibit towards you, there never been, would have been the commentary that you made about yourself. Leave a comment and let me know what you think, first of all, about them talking about his daughter's trauma and kind of fighting over his daughter's trauma. And what do you think about DL saying Monique is not funny? Because a lot of people say that DL is not actually funny. They say he's comedic, like he's a comedic storyteller, but he's not actually like laugh out loud funny like Monique is. But leave a comment and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, 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 tell us it all.